Stripes play the main stage here at the O2 Wireless Festival and now the White Stripes sitting here on a lovely leather sofa. Meg, Jack, lovely to meet you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. That's a lovely red drape that you have behind you. Yes. Purposefully asked for, I, I can only assume. From the Meg White Drape Collection. <laughs> in fact, I was just talking to one of the other bands earlier who saw your equipment, which is all in red flight cases uh, with white wiring. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's a beautiful thing. Custom. <laughs> Love the word custom. And um, first of all, new album, Ikitham. Also custom. Is, is it custom? Yeah, custom I'd hope. for you, the listener. It's out on Monday, uh, your sixth studio album. What I find phenomenal is you recorded it in, what, three weeks? True. How, how, how do you do that? I mean, what is that just immense preparation or just knowing that once it's there, it's right and you don't want to go back to it? Uh, we, we, have to, we have to work quickly, otherwise uh, we overthink ourselves too much, so... <laughs> now, Icky Thump is, is an interesting name. I, I, I did my, my verbal research on this, and Icky Thump right. is a phrase from Lancashire. Is right. there a connection? Well, my wife's from Oldham, mm -hmm. and she would say Icky Thump around the house a little bit. I thought she was saying Icky Thump with an I, and I like it better with an I anyways. I like the metaphors that kind of came out. You know, it's nice to take a phrase and see if you can try to create something new out of it and maybe take a new spin on it. Uh, and I think we got something there. I think it means a lot of different things. You know. And now, you, uh, you played uh, here last year, Jack, uh, with, with the Raconteurs. Is it a very different experience? I imagine it would be being on there with a the, with the whole band. The stage dynamic is so different. You know, we have set lists in the Raconteurs and we expound on them, but we don't have a set list in the White Stripes. Uh, those, like, those are some main differences. I mean, that's a big enough difference right there, you know. You don't have a set this? No, sir. How? <laughs> sir. Custom made for you. friends this is t again with another reaction video and today we're going to be doing a reaction on the white stripes seven nation army now this is a video it's not a live uh performance so we're just going to go with that um i think i might have seen these people before i'm not exactly sure they seem familiar uh this guy looks like an actor i mean or somebody that looked like him i think it's that dude on um the X-Men, he kind of remind me of him, you know. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong here, man, but they kind of look alike. So when I first saw this guy's face, I was like, dog, is he an actor? But then they had to really put the pieces together, and I realized that, you know, they two different people. So, so, but um, it seemed like this is a two-person act. It's just like uh, Glim Spanky. Like, there's two people in that uh, in that band. So this looked like it's just two people in this particular one. Um, like I say, uh, the guy looks familiar. I, I'm thinking it probably because of the, the X-Men thing. But uh, this might be interesting, and the video looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reaction on it. Now, if you have more information about the, uh, the White Stripes, if you're fans or something, please leave it in the comments below. If you don't like them, leave it in the comments below. Now, I don't mind if you leave comments about you know artists that you like and don't like. You know, sometimes that makes things a little interesting. So uh, you can definitely do that. I have no problem with you not liking something, okay? You know, all I all I ever ask for is just to be respectful about it, you know, so we can have a serious discussion. All right, let's go ahead and do a reaction on the white stripes. But before we do, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way we know whenever we come out with new videos, all right? Okay, let's get with it. Behind my 
like that like that all right we just did a reaction on the white stripes seven nation army i like this song i really really like this song okay like i said i don't know how popular they are most of these uh bands i really don't know how popular popular they are until all of you hit me back on the comments that's when i know how big they are i remember when i first did a uh, bandmate right didn't even realize they were that popular, but then everybody was telling me, oh man, they the best in the world and all this other stuff. So I was clueless about that. So I'm very interested what people think about the White Stripes. Now, like I say, I don't mind if you uh, leave any, uh, if you dislike these bands or, you know, these choices, whatever. I don't have a problem with the discussion. Uh, just be respectful and we can go ahead and go over it. You know, like I say, I don't expect everybody to like everything I do or the choices that I make um, or the choices that other people make um, that I'm trying to do their request. So I don't have a problem with that. You know, like I said, I always like to keep things friendly and nice, you know, so all of us can enjoy it. You know, like I said, I don't mind having a discussion about it. You know, just, you know, everybody respect everybody. That's that's my motto. You know, so but I really like this song. I really do. And the vid video is pretty pretty interesting, man. I wonder if if they came up with that. And I wonder, like, um, is this girl like a friend, like on um, Glim Spanky? Is she like a relative or something like that? If you have any history of this uh, particular band or uh, a request of specific songs that they sing that you like. Uh, please leave it in the comments. I always read the comments and I always reply. I love it when y'all uh, uh, give me all this information. It, I, you know, I watched uh, MTV for years, but I knew nothing. I knew nothing about the groups. I knew nothing. Back in the day, you got to remember, back in the day, we didn't have internet. We didn't have none of that stuff that y'all got now. So it's like you had to do some serious research if you like the band, you know, to find out, maybe read it in a newspaper or something. But the kind of information a lot of you have about a lot of these bands, I'm learning so much, you know. Like I said, I didn't, you know, back in the day, it was almost impossible. If, if the person, usually the interviews were very short. Like I remember watching MTV and saw certain interviews. You know, they didn't talk about a lot. 
but a lot of people with their favorite bands, they really, really know the details. And also they've been to a lot of these concerts, you know, that I didn't have the privilege of going to, right? So hopefully I'll be, if things start to work out, hopefully I'll be able to um, go uh, to these live shows. And what I want to do, I want to also film while I'm there. You know, there's nothing exciting. I've seen uh, YouTubers, when they like go to concerts and things like that, and they let everybody know they're there, they post it, and they put it on the YouTube channels. Or on their way there, you know, they're excited about going to see these groups, you know. I find that so fascinating. I remember watching MTV, you know, and I was like, oh, man, I would love to be on the road with a band or something, you know. I used to have all these fantasies, you know what I mean, traveling and going to these concerts, even being a, a ro roadie. I'm not exactly sure if that's what he called it. You know, the people that help um, put up the equipment and everything like that, set things up. You know, I always had all these fantasies about it. You know, it was dreams, you know. It was like when I was in high school or something. I was like, oh, that would be so awesome, man. Just get out of here, you know. So I got so tired of living here and I was like, ugh. And I still have a lot of that in me still. And I think that's a love why everybody loved music so much and love particular bands. Because if all of us who love music like this had our way, we'll be funded and we'll be out of here, man. We probably be traveling all the time if we are able, that is. You know what I mean? Some people would just want to stay home and listen to music. But I always had that spirit when I want to go to the places where these things are happening. So I find that very exciting. If you also like uh, had these type of fantasies that you want to like run away with the circus type thing or, you know, just have fun on the road and then be like, you know, free like a bird. You know what I mean? If you also had these fantasies, please let me know. Put it in the comments. I'm also interested in hearing about uh, a lot of your backgrounds when it's related to music because there's a couple of um, a couple of. Uh, people that left comments that told me, you know, how they fell in love with a band, the first concerts they went to, you know, uh, the girl they was with when they was uh, um, first listening to a song or, you know, the first guy that took them on this date where the song was playing on the radio and now it's their song, you know. It's very exciting to hear these things and I love reading them. So please, please leave comments, all right? I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thank you so much. And I'm almost reaching a 1,000. I really appreciate it, and I couldn't have done it without all of, your, all of your help. So thank you. And thanks again for stopping by, and peace.